Hi guys, picked up another interesting little toy car in the charity shop today. One of these ones I want to take apart, see how it works. I can't tell you exactly how much it cost, because it was in a box of uh, toy cars and things that were five for a pound. And, well, there was nothing else in there that I actually wanted. So, I've paid a pound for it, but it's probably 20 pence in value. What interests me about it is it's some sort of clockwork car. It appears to have something that you connect here to wind it up, although you can wind it up just by winding it backwards. This sort of bumper thing at the front moves, but I can't see what it does. This button is what you can, if you press it one way, you can then wind it up by pushing the car backwards. Right, backwards is that way. You can probably hear it clicking. So there's some ratchet effect in there that's um, winding it up. If I release it, it moves a little bit, but it's still, the main spring in there is wound up. And if I push this down, that releases the spring. And I think that's interesting. It's worth taking apart. The screws are the ones that have got triangles for the screw, that shape. And I just happen to have a screwdriver that will do it. So I'll take it apart. Now I've no doubt all the parts will fly out when I undo it, so we may not be able to get it back together. So before I take it apart, I'll just put it on the kitchen floor so we can see it run. I won't wind it up very far because I've tried it already and it wheel spins and shoots off to the left or the right if I wind it all the way up. As I say, that sort of star shape underneath, I think there's some sort of key or wind up mechanism that would normally fit in there and wind it up. But if I push that button in and just push it backwards, it has the same effect. I think that'll do. Just three pushes. It's brilliant, isn't it? Now we'll take it apart. Okay, let's see what we can do. I strongly suspect that I won't get it back together. Okay, moment of truth. Which way does it come apart? Uh, there's the join. There's our clockwork mechanism. That's the bit that would normally wind it up if we had the right uh, part of the toy. That would turn that way. And that's our spring. That's the little axle. It went up the middle. So that gearing there. goes against that gearing there and that's what turns it well, 
There's a little ratchet down there. That's the bit that stops this bit going backwards. And that's, I see, that's the button that goes up and down and that's pushing that ratchet in and out. And this, the front steering is just freewheeling. Looks like it's got a bit of muck around it that we could clean off. Back steering, or the back wheels, are actually in little plastic bearings. So that's a nice little touch. I'm not going to undo those screws, but they are what's holding the axle in place. And also holding that little ratchet in place. So I'll just show you that again. If I move the button up and down it pushes that ratchet in and out and that will catch against this toothed wheel here so that it can stop it coming backwards. Now let's see if we can get it back together. So that goes on there, that goes through there. Ah, I missed that, didn't I? That's the gear that connects that gear to that gear. So, that gear, that gear, that gear. And there's no way I can show you that, is there? Or does that lift out? Uh, that little spring that holds it in place is sealed under a bit of oh, I was out of screen, wasn't I? That spring there that tensions that arm is held under a bit of plastic there that's melted to hold it in place, so I can't pull that out. Can you see that? So I won't pull that out. No, that is tucked under there. Or can I? No, it is. I don't want to pull it out because I want to get it back together and make sure it works. Aha. I was trying to work out how that button gets to that hole if that's in the way and the reason is that should be over that side. That's better, now we can see the button. Can we get it back together? Should be able to. It'd be easier to put that in there. Wow, I didn't expect that to go back together. Success. I put the screws back in. There's no manufacturer marking on this as far as I can tell. There's a label there that just says refer to package. So we'd have to look in the packaging which we don't have. I like that.
not too keen on these triangular screws. If you're wondering where the triangular screwdriver came from, it's that little package from Poundland. But a nice selection of small screw bits. So if you know what the manufacturer is, uh, you can leave us a comment. And I didn't figure out what that bit did, did I? Unless that's just a spring bumper to stop it smashing when it hits the wall. One final little point. I was talking about there being some mechanism that you push on the bottom here that would push against here and wind it up. I can see that as you push something against the bottom here, it's going to push that little locking button up at the same time. All in one motion. So whatever you clip this on or push it on to wind it up also pushes that up. So then you've wound it up with whatever the mechanism does which I can do just by pushing it backwards and then when you want it to go press the button there we go finished